I'm pretty sure they're not going to give me one. They're just going to turn me tranquil. And you sort of say, oh, no, you're being silly. That's not going to happen. And then it turns well, out later that, yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. They're pretty sure that he's not enough in control of his magic to be trusted, uh, that he, they know that he's been researching some blood magic, yes. and they basically decide to make him tranquil. So it's actually a good storyline. Okay, we gotta kill these guys. Do some killing. Why are you so loud, zombies? These are the loudest zombies I have ever seen. Alistair passed out again. Yes, kill them. Kill him. Well done. It's a really good show. These are just the loudest zombies of all time. I don't get it. All right. So yeah. Um, basically, Joanne's storyline is, I mean, it's sympathetic. The problem is that he's so much of a complainer. I mean, he resents his placement, his place in the Circle Tower, with good reason. I mean, uh, your character is sort of the golden child if you are you start off as a mage, and Jowen is like the kid that they don't know what to do with because he's sort of a rebel. He blames everybody else for his problems. Well. <laughs> so they don't make him likable at all. All right, I'm pretty sure there's going to be bad guys in every room. Oh, hell yes. Wow. Okay. All right. There's some, gotta be some killing of things. Oh, shit. Come on down. Come on. Stay alive. Come on, guys. You gotta be better at this. No, nope, I'm down. Oh, <laughs> couldn't target anything. All right, here we go. Wipe them out. I tried to be merciful. Don't be merciful, Adriana. Just take him down. As you wish. There you go. <laughs> Alright. So, oh! It's level up time. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Alright, strength. So I can kill things faster. Let's see. Threaten, death blow. Perfect striking is by far the better way to go. Yeah, because then every hit actually hits. <laughs> Yes. You know, the biggest problem with, as much as I love the Dragon Age series, the biggest problem they have with their characters, which are usually very strong, is when they make, um, they'll create a bad guy. Well, maybe that's not fair. I was going to say they create a bad guy, and he's really only a bad guy because he blames everybody else for his problems. I guess that's actually kind of a common trope, isn't it? You know, bad guy is actually kind of sympathetic, except that he doesn't deal with his problems in a constructive way. Oh, somebody's coming. Gotta kill these guys. All right. There we go. We got this. We got this. I like this part. Oh, okay. Come on, take him down. Stay alive. Stay alive. Wait, who are you, who are you targeting? Oh, there was another guy here. Alright. Here we go. Oh, nope, she's down. 
Don't leave Liliana alone. I think All we right. Work well together. Okay. <sighs> Here we go. We'll give her some more cunning. Wow, she needs a lot more cunning. And remind me, is that... I know she needs dex. Herbalism and combat tactics. But that's honestly... And I'm not going to lie. In these games, I don't really try or focus that much on um, opening up chests. It just, it's not important. Um, oh, thank you, Debbie Johnson, for retweeting my tweet about this stream. Debbie Johnson, you are pretty. Just gonna let her know that she's pretty. It's very important. Very, very important. All right, so... I mean, honestly, I think she needs constitution more than anything else, since I'm not playing her as an archer. Combat training, not so much. Eh. Alright. Expert stealing. Why not? Good stuff. But, bard. Let's work on your bard skills. Okay. We're good. So I do have a mod in here, by the way, that uh, is called Auto Loot. And you could see it actually in Liliana's, um, in her character information. But oh, okay, there's a lot of bad guys in here, so I'm going to focus on this. <laughs> I sense here we go. I said some natural things. Yeah, you do. Take him down. Them down. <laughs> Actually, take this one down. <laughs> take him down. Liliana's down. Yeah. Oh, no, she's down too. Alright, well, I'm just gonna let that happen. Oh, there's more of them than I thought. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. All right, we're going to have to use one of these potions. Uh, oh, one's down too. We might die. Oh, no, we're all dead. It's too late. All right, we're all dead. That's ridiculous. Dang it. <laughs> uh, yeah, load the last save. It's all good. No problem. No big deal. It ain't no thang. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, I actually went further back than I expected to. Okay. Here we go. So we'll go in the first door. Targeted. See, this is something the game does. It'll just target one character and, well, I mean, that's the way to defeat a party, of course. So I could do a health poultice, but I mean, she's going down almost no matter what. Enough. So. Yeah, she's already down. Shush. All right. Come on. Nope, don't die. Why are you dying so quickly? Why do you suck so bad? Nope, you're dead. And I don't have enough health poultices, so... Sheesh. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. Take them down. Take them down. Oh, nope, she's dead too. I'm just like watching them die at this point. This is ridiculous. Nope, stop that. I did not realize you were going... No, she's down. All right. All right. Well, 
load the last save again. Now we died even sooner. I don't even know. Don't even know. All right. So right now, I'm going to go in here. And I'm making gameplay easy. I'm doing it. Judge me, if you will. Yes. It's fair. <laughs> I mean, I'm so bad that uh, I can't stay alive. It is a problem. All right, here we go again. As you say. There we go. Down. Wait, where is my enemy? You see, I'm having trouble targeting sometimes. Okay, here we go, we got this. We're gonna take him down. One more who was just hanging out in the corridor, I guess. Like you do when you're a zombie. All right. Well, the good thing is that uh, we should be able to level up a little bit in this area, which we clearly desperately need. Because be this is surprisingly rough. A little rough right here. Okay, so there's a door. Oh, through here. Okay. All right. And now there's more guys in the hallway. Really? Wait, where are they? Are they coming from behind us? They are. Oopsie. Here we go. We got this. Take him down. A little stunned. That's okay. Yeah. We got this. And he's down. Oops, didn't mean to pause. Nice! Some good stuff right there. Oh, this door's locked. Allow oh. me. I could do that for you. Oh, but of course, Liliana. Who sighed? I select. Oh, and she can't even do it. Aw, you're funny. <laughs> funny because you kind of suck. Uh, Alright. Okay, so since I can give you additional stealing. Oh, that's right. That's what I did before. Um, so this is what I was saying. Uh, auto loot is the mod that I've got on this. So it makes it a lot easier to pick up stuff. It doesn't. It keeps uh, a window from opening every single time you try to loot stuff. I could have her unlock doors. I'm not gonna, though. It's just not how I play. So, of course, she still can't do that. Okay. All right, so we want to go this way. Where there are going to be... No, this is where we just were. So we want to go... Huh. Which way do we want to go? I guess through this... Oh, we just went in a circle. Because we're clever like that. Wait. Oh. You know what I'm doing? I'm running past an open door because I'm being a dumb. Okay. Here we go. We got this. We're on it. Oh, that's right. This is where we got the shit kicked out of us. Okay, we're going to do it this time. Say. Successfully. Six of us pulled killing. Okay, killed that guy. Did go after this guy now. One at a time. One zombie murder at a time. Excellent. Kill him. Kill them all. <laughs> Loudest zombies ever. Oops. Okay, well, we do want to stay alive, so. Take 
them down. I'm trying to be massive with <laughs> Devouring corpse. Damn. Like, damn. Oh, okay. Where am I? Here we go. Can I kill this? More killing! The biggest problem is I can't use my abilities as often as I want to. Oh, oh okay. Well, it's just one. We got this. You're okay. Get up. Oh, just kidding. There's one more. Okay, now you're good. Nice. I am injured. Yeah. I will need to tend these wounds in time. <laughs> I will need to tend these wounds. I have yes. the most pointless voice of all time. It is serious. Alright. Very, very nice. So, there are clearly a giant number of zombie dudes in this next room. So, that's happening. <laughs> and that's clearly where we're gonna go next. Are we ready? We are ready. We can do this. Of course. Of course. See, so that's a nice voice. Why can't you use that? Oh, oh, oh okay. Voice my character. Character mine. All right, let's take down the weaker Mabaris first. Oh, I'm gonna die. Okay. Oh no! All right, she's going down. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> it sucks when you don't pay attention and you let the Mabaris jump on you because then they kill you quick. Mabaris and spiders are really good at jumping on you <laughs> and just devouring the crap out of you. Basically, if they get you down, that uh, whatever. Oh shoot! Okay, well, guess it's uh, Liliana and Morrigan now. We can do this. We might be able to do this. Dirty fighting. Oh yes, we got this. Oh, uh, she's actually not got this. <laughs> We're just really quick gonna bring this down here. She is good because she has like no constitution, so. I suppose violence is a solution. Oh my Sometimes. god, Liliana. Shut up. Watch out! <laughs> I mean, you are super cool, but just kill it. Here comes trouble! Oh, she's down. Directly. Come on, Morgan. Drain that life. Drain it a little harder than that. I shall do it. Yeah. Oh, it is too much. I know, but now you got it. You're good. You're good. Just oh, okay. Hmm. Shit! Oh man, I totally had that. That's pathetic. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> Having a bad rap here. Not a good time. Yeah, let's level up. What? No. I'm back at the beginning? What? I guess the game does not expect you to be such a wuss at this. Oh, this is just sad. Of course. This is real sad. You know what? We're gonna skip that room. Oh, there he is. As you say. Where are these guys? Apparently all at once. Ooh. Okay, phew. Take out the oh, guy who's on the ground. Take him out! Take him out! There we go. Take him out! Take them down! Wipe them out! Well done. 
Oh, nope, don't go there yet. Okay. Okay. And you know what? Because we're having such a rough time, I'm actually going to save right there. Because <laughs> we're having such a rough time. Alright, now I will go into this room, I guess. Oh, boy. Take out these shades. <laughs> Take this guy out. Your time to Stab him with my stabby sword. And they would seem to be dead. Lovely. Well done. All these guys have lyrium potions. This is not really what I want. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, what I should do, obviously, if I stopped and actually thought, is create more health potions. Hey, maybe that would help. Maybe that would help me stay alive. Okay, here we go. We got this. And you know what? Because, again, having such a wimpy time, we're going to save again. Don't judge me. Don't judge! I sense unnatural things. Sense of natural things. Oh, this is where we died before. Mm. Okay, where are we? We are killing this guy with all of the stabs. Every single stab. Nice. Now this guy. The dual weapon sweep. Nice. Oh, he's done. You know what? Let's keep him alive, so we definitely uh, get another injury. See, well done. Plan B. Plan B. Funny. Okay. There we go. Lovely. And now. Luliana gets her nice little healing. Um, okay. All right. Still gonna give her bard stuff. Okay, so we got this. We're gonna be okay. Oh, here's another door. Where there are dudes. Dudes who want to kill us. Until I get my shit together. And <laughs> just keep saving unnecessarily often. Oh, right. The dog dudes. Not the most common of dudes. Oh man, the fact that I'm surrounded by them makes me pretty sure this care is gonna die. Come on, take him down fast. Will not falter! Unless one of these guys jumps on me, and then I'm pretty sure I'm gonna falter. Wait for it. Oh no, it happened. It happened. Okay, everybody attack him. Every single buddy attack this guy. Better yet, Morgan, freeze that guy. There we go. Freeze him. That's finished. Alright, can I get up? I think I can get up. Lovely. Okay, now actually kill the weak one. Because you're going to be okay. Okay. So we're going to be okay. Dang it! Really? Another one jumped on me? Oh, come on. Come on, game. <laughs> I don't think so, game. Would you guys kill it a little faster, please? Because I am dying like you would not believe. Would you please freeze this guy? Oh, wait, you can't. <sighs> Damn. Alright, I'm up. I'm up, I'm okay. I'm kind Let's of okay. Quick. Oh. I tried to be 
That is a lot of blood. A lot of poor dead dogs. Poor dead dogs who have health poultices on them. So, I mean, given the choice, I would significantly prefer to kill a dog that was carrying a health poultice in its mouth than one that was not. So there you go. All right, let's keep going. Here Trap we go. Right ahead. Trap right ahead. Oh, so do you know how to? Oh, she sighs. She sighs a sigh of hatred. Nimble. Is your name Jack? I sense unnatural. Kill them. Now we get our hands dirty. Yeah, this is where we kill things. Let's make this. Easy. All right, now kill this other thing. Kill it fast. Well done. Really impressive As killing. You say. As you say. Okay. We're gonna pop out here. Nice. Pretty much just have to go around killing things in this. Take it down. You Take it down. Oops, there's one in there. It is done. Well done. Of course. My sweet brethren. Brethren buddies. Okay, what do we got in here? Anything cool? Anything at all? Very well. Got some uh, some dead bodies here. Got a door that you cannot unlock at this point. That's right, because it's the main hall, which is where this area ends. Oh my. Um. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of dead guys. Yes. All right. Wait a second. Is it just me or is Liliana just sitting there? Yeah. Brilliant. Well done. You know, it's funny, having played uh, Inquisition now, how much Liliana changes. I noticed earlier that uh, when I was playing as her, you know, when all of my party was dying. What do you need? Oh, Alistair, I did not actually want to talk to you. Not right now. Later. In the nighttime. Um, Liliana is such a sweetheart to a fault. You know, sh while she's fighting her character, just casually says things like, I suppose that sometimes vi- What do you need? Okay, you need to stop running in front of me. You're like a cat. Uh, she says things say. like, I suppose violence is sometimes necessary. <laughs> says a woman who used to be, I, I mean, I know, having played this game before, used to be a bard in Orlais. Let's see, oh yeah, that's right, we have to go through the basement to get to the main hall, take this roundabout route in this area. Like, she used to be a bard in Orlais, and she used to deal with real shit. <laughs> like, she's just... And in this game, she is... Ugh, so overly sweet. It's not... It's kind of hard to believe the character arc that she goes through. I mean, it's a good character arc, but it's so funny to see where she started. And it's such a weird contrast, this between... Between this and where she ends up at the end of Inquisition. I mean, by Inquisition, she's gone through some really rough stuff that's just sort of alluded to. Um, and she is much, much more vicious. Okay, we gotta go up to the courtyard. Oh no, the courtyard. No, right now the courtyard is okay. 
later in the game, there is a huge battle in the courtyard, but I'm pretty sure now, just in case I'm going to save, in case I'm wrong, and uh, it is now. <laughs> but usually the courtyard is... Nope. Okay. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> I'm glad I saved. Okay, let's get into it. Let's go on up here and start killing guys. And the problem is that they're all archers. Which are really good at killing you. What? What? What just happened? He just hit me with the most badass arrow. I kind of kill him with I mean, I hate him and I'm going to kill him now, but... Mad props for that. Jesus. This is ridiculous. Good thing these guys go down really fast. Okay, turn around real quick and stab this guy. Okay. Like I said, oh, because they've got a revenant. Okay, I don't want to deal with him until I take care of the little guys first. It is pointless to go after him when all of his minions are busily killing you with their tiny little attacks. I mean, anybody who's, oops, anybody who's played games like this, or any game, any video game really, it's a pretty basic strategy to take out the little guys before you deal with the big guy. Because the big guy usually doesn't attack as often because his attacks are, and his attacks are much stronger, but he's not constantly attacking you. Much slower. And the little guys, oh man, I got two people dying right now. Oh, right, I don't have that here because shit happened. Okay. He's probably gonna die before he'll take that, but give it a try. Oh, no, I took it. Okay, good. We got this. We can take him down. With the power of friendship. Oh, down he goes. Down he goes. Nice. He's gonna drop some nice loot in a second. There it is. Of course. Oh, okay. Well, health poultice. I mean, that's good. Thought it would be more than that, but whatever. Okay. So there's nothing to pick off these guys. Let's just check down here really quick, because there were archers down here. I don't know what happened to them. I guess they just came up the steps. That's right, they came up the steps when <laughs> I was getting shot by the most gorgeous arrow shot of all time from a wimpy little skeleton archer. Didn't know he had the power to do that. Pretty pretty impressive skills right there. Alright, here we go. So, now we are in Redcliffe Castle! Yeah! Oh, and stuff's happening. Van Tegan is silently being a jester. With no sound, which is really weird. Wouldn't you be singing at this point if you were doing this and you were normal? I mean, granted, he's obviously not normal right now, but... So these are our visitors. Oh, man, the this kid sounds so creepy. Them. Yes, Connor. And this is the one who defeated <coughs> my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. Huh. What is it? It's Martha? staring at me. I can't see it well enough. Can't see this, it. This is a woman, Connor. This is a woman. Just as I am. You lie. No. This woman is nothing at all like you. Why, just look at her. Half your age and pretty too. What? I'm surprised you don't order her executed in a fit of jealousy. Okay. Connor, true. I beg you, don't hurt anyone. Mm -hmm. Mother? What? What's happening? Where am I? Small child. Oh, the maker. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman. <laughs> you are beginning to bore me. Uh-oh. Great Warden. Please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. Well, technically he... Well, oh no, he's not. He's a kid who's possessed by a demon. Uh, 
so he is the evil force. No. Don't say that. Well, it's true. So, the boy has become an abomination and sundered the veil. Yep. Honor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. Yeah, and made a deal that... with the demon <laughs> to do so? Foolish child. Yep. It was a fair deal. Father is a liar. Just as I wanted. God. Possessed voice is so creepy. So very Nobody creepy. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody. Oh my god. Oh my god. Creepiest Quiet, possessed uncle. voice of all time. I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting. Didn't I? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. But let's keep things. Do I like to ask this myself questions? Yes. Yes, Tell I do. Us, woman, what have you come here for? Question talker. I was hoping to find Bantigan. <laughs> no reason. I think I'll just leave. No. <laughs> uncle? But Uncle Tegan is right here. Say hello, Uncle. Hello, Uncle. Oh, God. Dear Uncle was very full of himself. You know, they never explained yeah. what happens to Ban Tegan. Like, what, what makes him do this? Is there some charm I, on him? I mean, obviously there I is, but... Don't think... Of course you don't. We don't see Ever an enchantment anything like this away, in you do anywhere else in the but deprive me of my game. Fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. Ugh. I crave excitement and action. This woman spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village. And now she'll repay me. Yeah. Repay. So the weird thing is you have to fight everybody, including Van Tegan. And it's like you're killing them, but apparently they don't die because they still show up later. I guess you're supposed to assume that you just knock them out. Take them out. Take them out. Somebody stabbing me in the back. Van Tegan, I wish you would stop stabbing me back. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, now we need to take out this guy. What? Wait, why would you? I got it. Okay, and that's all of them. Oh, Tegan, are you all right? Apparently, being stabbed a few times woke him out of his enchantment. No, I think my mind is my own again. Woo! Blessed Andraste, I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. Oh, he's old. The fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. I mean... <laughs> I'm not trying to kill a child, but come on, you knew about this. I, you knew about yes. this. Yes. I didn't tell you because I believed we could help him. I still do. I'm sorry, my lady, but Connor has become an abomination. He's no longer your son. You! You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? God, you she's so me. angry. I With good you reason, here granted. I mean, she has son, good reason to be you crazy pissed husband? right now. This is the crazy being the on. operative word. Didn't you say word. he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. Must have been. I don't know. Wow. Let's see. There's no more to blame than you are. Well, I'll say I thought he'd be useful since he started useful? this. After everything he did, he should be executed. Eh, Without him, maybe. none of this would have happened. Your secrecy made his actions possible, Isolde. Yep. But I, I know what Thanks you must think of me, me my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. Yeah. If Connor is Smart Ban Tegan. He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please. I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret to protect him. 
If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. Take him away from me? What if he learned just enough to hide it, then... Then what? I mean... Oh, where's our Lehman? Upstairs in his room. I think the demon has been keeping him alive. Mm -hmm. So if we destroy the demon, then... Then my husband may perish. Yes. Okay. Oh, I think he ran upstairs to the family quarters. Okay. Violence scares him. I know that sounds strange. He may have run up to his room or... I mean, I understand he's old. If your son started going insane and you figured out that she's an overprotective mother... The Joan, come on, you gotta help to us out destroyed. here. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without Ooh. hurting Connor himself. Well, What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt mm -hmm. and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. What? It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages. But I have blood magic. Blood magic. Ah, uh, blood magic is forbidden. I mean, come on, what difference? Yeah, seriously, do you really think I'm going to let you cast any spells? Maybe not. But all I'm saying is that I can do this. I don't understand. I, I know nothing of blood magic. <laughs> But how is that an option? Well, no, okay, fair. She Miriam shouldn't know about blood magic, actually. Why ritual, would she? But I can take that power from someone's life energy. Hmm. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. Oh, so you can kill somebody. So, someone must die. Someone must be sacrificed. Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Right. Maybe I shouldn't have said <laughs> anything. It's not much of an option. I love how there's no way for Jowen to die, because that would actually be pretty fair. Is there no other method? I mean, come on. The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Well, we know where we can then get lyrium. my blood. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. Yeah. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two it's wrongs not... don't make a right. See, I don't get it the whole blood magic like is evil. Sensible choice. Well, that's not with fair because you can control people's Connor minds and stuff with blood magic, which is really, really you bad. not have to pay the price. It, but it's just a tool. It's up right? to you, my Maybe? friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. Right. The decision is yours. Decision is mine, like everything else in this game. Let's see. There must be some other way to enter the you Fade. You find Lyrium Come and on. more mages at the Circle of Magi. Right? They would even do it. Circle is not far from here. That is an excellent <laughs> point. Like how nobody was going to say that. Circle of Magi, after all. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get That's the mage. It's not even there. far. But what will happen here? A day's journey. It's like Connor nothing. Will not remain passive forever. Yeah. Like, granted, it is a risk, but you know, I know from playing the game that it doesn't matter. Leaving Connor here, it's fine. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with right, us. Right, and they use Jowan to, to control the tower him. Quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. <laughs> it's so funny, like, I just don't get <laughs> why, I mean, okay, yeah, you can kill Connor and then this is over and you just move on to the Circle of Magi, but think about it. <laughs> Basically, it's like you have an incredible dilemma, an incredible problem, and the solution is, you know, this healing self or whatever, and they say, you know, uh, I, I don't think that's a good enough solution. I think it's, it's, too, it's too hard to get that healing self. And someone's like, um, there's actually a bucket of it right there. Like, right there. It's not, it would take no time <laughs> for us to get this. 
Uh, all right. Uh, it's just very, very silly. So before I go out, I'm just, well, no, let's go out. We'll go ahead and go out. But first, let's pick up this stuff. Because there's some cool stuff here. Some cool stuff here. Oh, wait. More cool stuff. More dead guards. So, see, I did kill some guards. How did I manage not to kill Tegan? I mean, at this point, you can keep going through and killing things. There is an entire room of Darkspawn, or not Darkspawn, zombie guys, like right here in this room that I can see them on my map. So, oh, okay. Suits of armor are coming to life. I guess. I guess that's a thing now. Yeah, sure. Oh my god! What? What is all of this? Oh god. Oh god. Oh, this hurts. Oh, they are hurting me. Uh. <laughs> oh man, this is hurting so bad. I'm just gonna take this health poultice for obvious reasons. Oh, I didn't. Come on, take it. I have to double click it, huh? Okay. Come on, we can do this. Stop him! Let us end this! Make a reserve! Damn suits of armor, always trying to kill me. Wow. Okay, he's stunned, so maybe I can go up and kill him. Take him down while he's stunned. It's no fair play in this. He's just staying alive. And then dying horribly. Okay, one more guy. Down you go! Down you go! Nice. 